Yeah. For sure. Notice, well, we have 14, and the extra gray bar is just now turned in. So now we have 25. Yeah. I'm lucky that these randoms, they trusted me invading. They knew that I could do it. So they just let me go in there throughout the whole match, and that really helped us win, for sure. Invading is very important. You see how many moats they are going to lose from this invade alone? That's why you need to learn, well, how to invade and what to do while invading and what strategy to use. The strategy that I use is we only have one player not even going for moats. They're just protecting the base and invading. That's it. They don't go for moats. They just have the three other people go for moats because they know that I or whoever you're playing with can kill at least two of them per time oh, yeah. per time on the invade and that's what you need to know is strategy well you might say oh it's just gambit it's not that serious yes but some people might want to win in gambit i really don't care but this is just for the people that are trying to win i notice well, shoot, they're losing moats. They can't even leave their spawn. We are putting them on house arrest. They have no chance to beat us. I'm going to go take this out. And somehow I messed that up. I just phased through him. I don't know, man. Fix the game. But I didn't even realize my teammate had 15. So this is why I just ran away from the moats after. But I ended up going to get them and turn in a 10 for a medium blocker and then yeah i am about to go invade i just died from the invader but it's okay because we are losing moats but you notice that we're still up by a big amount so i don't even worry about the ads in the middle and here's why i'm gonna go invade and i'm gonna go shut down the people with moats i'm gonna go make sure that they cannot turn in any type of moats any type of moats even though they did this guy was smart and they stayed back but you have to always make sure to go for the ones with high moats and if the people with zero moats are rushing you just gotta take them down at sometimes sometimes you won't get the guys with high moats it's okay you don't have enough time in there really but yes that is what you do now, my prime evil is summoned, so I know, well, I'm not going to be able to invade until their prime evil is summoned. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to wait, and you guys don't have to wait. I'll just edit it. Alright, they're going to spawn their prime evil as soon as they get back there. So I know, well, I'll be able to invade. Usually, you're going to want to wait, depending if you're on a full squad or not. The reason I didn't wait is because I was playing with randoms. So I didn't want them to invade and then get, like, nothing... So I knew, well, I might as well just invade and get at least a decent amount of them. And then um, have them respawn. So that means they have less time to take on the Prime Evil. I end up dying because I missed my three snipes. It was just horrible gameplay for me, honestly. But why? You asked why... Um, Invading is important. This video shows why. You invade to make them lose moats. That is the whole point in the heal the prime evil. You have to make sure that you don't just have a random guy going over to invade if you're trying to win. If you're trying to get these wins, this is what you have to do. Promise. This is what you have to do. I go to invade. I'm going to go try and shut them down. Um... It fails because our prime evil was defeated because of invading. They were distracted. A few of them were distracted from me invading. And we end up taking the win. We on that 1310 grind. 1296. Let's go. Good game. Peace.